Hi, my name is Grant Hobson. I've been a finance analyst for the last six years. Today I'm going to run you through some financial performance methods as well as some investment appraisal techniques. How to calculate weighted average cost of capital, also known as WAC. The weighted average cost of capital assumes that when an entity raises finance, the cash raised is added into a pool of funds. So this pool of funds involves equity, debt, and then also potentially preference shares. The idea of WAC is that we're trying to calculate how much the capital that we use for investment costs us. So if our investment ratios that we get back return a lower percentage than the cost of capital, then it's not worth the investment project going ahead. However, if the investment project generates a percentage return which is higher than the cost of capital, then it makes sense to go ahead with a project. Now, if a company was just equity based, and the, or, then the only consideration would be the returns that the shareholders require. So you can use the CAPM model, which is a, one you can look at out with this, to calculate that. But for example, you, your shareholders might want a return of 10%. Alternatively, you can just finance by debt, and that would be your interest rate as charged by the bank, so maybe 6-7%. The weighted average cost of capital assumes that we use this pool of funds, which is a com combination of the equity, debt and preference shares, and then we generate an average cost of capital for these. And the weighted element being that if we have 75% equity, 25% debt, then the rate that we use should reflect this weighting. So in order to calculate the weighted average cost of capital, we need to first calculate the cost of equity then we can calculate the cost of preference shares and then we can calculate the cost of debt. In this example, we shall use equity and debt to calculate the weighted average cost of capital. So if we say that a company's equity is 400, and if we say that the debt is 300, we have a total capital structure of 700 pounds. Now in order to calculate the WAC, what we need to do is we need to know the equity rate. So this is what can be calculated using CAPM, or alternatively, if you're looking at this in a question, then it will probably be provided. So in this example, we'll take 16% as the rate. And this is what our um, investors require a return of. For the debt, the £300 will take a rate of 8%, and this is what the bank charges in interest. And also to take into consideration for the equity, and also to take into consideration during the calculation is the corporation tax rate, which is at 35%. So what we do, firstly, is we'll calculate the debt level. So the formula is simply £300 of debt divided by the total 700 So this gives the portion of the debt in the total capital structure. We then times this by the 8% rate. We then need to times this by 0.65. The 0.65 represents 1 minus the 35% tax rate. So 1 minus 0.35 to get to your 0.65. which gives us a value of 2%. If we do the equity part of the calculation, it follows the same, same method. So it's 400, which is your equity value, divided by your total value, 700. And we times this by the rate that's required, which is 16%. which gives us 9% for equity. So this is apportioned 
the, the amount of debt and the amount of equity. So to get the whack, we sum both the debt and the equity amount. So the weighted average cost of capital in this example would be 11%. So what you'd do then is you'd consider this in relation to your investment calculations. So if, you're inve if you've considered in your investment analysis and your appraisal shown that you have um, a return greater than 11%, then it's a project that you should consider. If it's less than your cost of your capital, then you're making a loss, so you shouldn't consider the project.